President Trump suffered another legal setback today in his battle to keep his tax returns private. A federal appeals court ruled that the president's tax returns cannot be kept from New York State investigators looking into those hush money payments made to adult film star Stormy Daniels. Paula Reed joins us now from the White House. So, Paula, does this mean we're finally going to see the president's tax returns? Nor the president's attorneys are going to do everything they can to keep these returns private. CBS News has learned they intend to appeal this decision to the Supreme Court, arguing that the president is protected from any criminal proceedings while he's in office. But today, these judges held they don't think that the president will prevail at the high court because they believe the president's accountants are not protected from subpoenas and they may have to hand those returns off to investigators. Another question for you, Paula. The Justice Department today demanding details about an anonymous senior administration official who has written a critical book about the president. This is the next big showdown. Will that stop the book's publication? It's unlikely. Nora, this is the same official who last year penned an anonymous op-ed in the New York Times, describing the president as impetuous, adversarial, and ineffective, and said there was a faction inside the administration working to contain the damage. Now, CBS News has obtained a letter the Justice Department sent to the official's publisher today, saying that by writing the book, he or she may have violated non-disclosure agreements and could have to forfeit any profits. Now, the author's representatives suggest this is just an intimidation tactic and that it will not prevent the book from being published in a few weeks. All right, Paula, thank you.